Awesome. Hi there, gentlemen. Welcome to Sitam Church Online. My name is Mungaraki Mashia, and I'm joined by the one and only Brother Precious. Precious call. Hey, Welcome. 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 That translated is praise the Lord. Yeah. Yes. In our last video, yeah. <laughs> we talked about, uh, we just did a debriefing. Yes. Because men had visited some conferences yes, yes. and they came up with some resolutions. Yeah. And actually, I want us to pick up. Uh, from where we left it yes. because one of the resolution that was stated mm. and is being held dear yeah. whether there was a conference or not whether there is valentines or not it's about the private man and not just this privacy the privacy of the phone so yes. I've, we've actually dubbed this video the private man you know men and their phones mm. now that they were asked to buy two mm. one to come into the house with yes. the other one you live in the boot of the car mm. now <laughs> what, what do you what do you have to say to men about privacy and specifically the many marriages and relationships that have broken mm. or many struggles that have started in a man's life mm. because of a small gadget mm. that's worth around maybe 20,000 yes. or 15,000 mm. yeah, go ahead well, uh, whereas it's it's very okay for men to have their space, mm -hmm. for everyone actually, yeah, not yeah. just men. Yeah. Everyone needs that their own mm -hmm. space where they, you can be able to reflect and mm -hmm. collect and all those things. Mm -hmm. But we have seen an oversurgence um, mm -hmm. in, in, in privacy, mm -hmm. especially um, regarding cell phones. Yes, the phone. The phones and, yeah. and passwords keep on changing every mm -hmm. other time. Patterns. Patterns keep on changing uh -huh. and, and, and you and, and you almost get a sense of what exactly is being Been hidden, hidden there. Yeah, yeah. And when you look at it, I think these phones have made life much more difficult. Mm. Well, as they have made the world a, a global village, yes. but I think they have given room for a lot of affairs, mm. for a lot of illegal business, mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. a lot of and god living conversations mm -hmm. and photos and mm -hmm. videos mm -hmm. um, and so of course it becomes a problem for me to leave my phone True. unprotected yeah. because then there is something that can expose mm -hmm. me mm -hmm. for who i am mm -hmm. but you know mm -hmm. i'm not portraying myself as such yeah. and so for me i um, i think um, there is a lot of secrets that we have kept here yes and 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 yet we know scripture says mm. in the book of proverbs chapter 18 mm -hmm. uh, 28 verse 13 mm -hmm. if i would read he yeah, who conceals ahead. his transgression will yes. prosper that's a point but he who confesses and forsakes them mm. will find compassion awesome if there is anything in your phone mm. that makes you uncomfortable to mm. even leave it in the hands of someone else mm. then that probably is an area you wow. need to look at wow wow because the moment you conceal it it continues growing. Exactly. For example, as you've touched on, there is a lot of porn. Yeah. Maybe music. Right. Or messages. Yes. These days, even people do a lot of sex chatting. Yes. I, I hear that's what it's called. Yes. So the question would be, do you have passwords? <laughs> well, I'm I do a... have. I do oh. have one. But but now, um, in the context of, for instance, if you have a spouse, yes. it doesn't hurt if they know your. So your wife does knows your. She can access she does, your phone. She can access. Including your Mpesa. Yes. All your messages. Yes. And you've not saved numbers under access. your mother. That's name. No. <laughs> she has access. Uh, yeah, so that you don't break your back in the when you're in the bathroom. Yes. And you, I think we were discussing about a lady who it's it's raining, there is lightning and thunder, and she can't wake up. She can't wake up. But the moment the phone rings, yes. she is awake. Who's texting you at this hour? Who are you talking to? <laughs> and I'm sure some men have gone through this. Maybe a relationship broke. Yeah. Or your marriage is in turmoil. Yes. Or maybe. As, as, as a young or single person, you're struggling mm. with things that you can't actually, yeah. you know, expose. Yes. And the moment you realize you forgot your phone in your mother's car you you or in the sitting room, the whole day, you can even catch a flight eh. because your blood pressure yes. will be over 200 yes. because of the fear of what if yes. they discover. And mm. so from God's word, we are learning that number one, let's not conceal sin. Mm. It's okay, yes, have the password, yes. but those who need to know the passwords and let the access, know. let them know. And especially in a relationship context, boyfriend, girlfriend, marriage, that's husband and wife, mm. I think it's, it should be an open book. It should and be. actually, I can take it as a red flag. Mm. If you're not willing for me to access your phone, mm. you know, even in terms of accountability, yes. because I believe men, yeah. I should ex, ex, explore his phone should, yeah. and check what sites have he, has he been visiting. Right. Of course, these days we can delete the history, mm. but we can still go and crack it <laughs> and find what is this that has been hidden. Right. And so at the end of the day, my conclusion is this, mm. that if I know whatever I'm doing is right, yes. it upholds the values of God's word no and the values of society, mm. then there's no need to hide. Right. Actually, personally, mm. I have no password. I, can I have no fingerprint. Yes. It's an open 
phone, mm -hmm. open check, yeah. whether I leave it with my wife or my daughter or whoever. You are at peace. My heart is at peace. Mm -hmm. Actually, if you scroll through, you will be blessed. Amen. Other than being <laughs> I can attest to that. Scared, you know? <laughs> yeah. And so men, let's arise yeah. and, and, and let's bring blessings yes. in our phones. Right. You know, whatever you upload, whatever you save in there, whatever music you're listening to. Mm -hmm. Let it be one that edifies and grows you. And what's that verse again? Proverbs 28 verse mm -hmm. 13. That says that he who conceals sin, a sin yeah. does not prosper, prosper at all. Destroyed. But he who confesses it, mm. he who talks about we'll it, find great will find great compassion. What a promise. Wow. Praise the Lord. Amen. And I believe we have found compassion oh, even yes. in one another oh, yes. by the fact that I am accountable to you and yes. you are accountable to yeah. me. Mm. And I can tell you, the, the, the feeling of freedom, mm. such that there is now no more condemnation. Right. And so as we bring this video to a close, there are numbers appearing on your screen right now. Get in touch with us, you know. You can find us on YouTube, you can find us on Facebook, on Instagram, you know, I believe we are on Twitter, yes. I guess so. Yeah, 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 we are. That was yeah. a senior moment, that's what we call it. <laughs> so get in touch with us, you know, share these videos mm. and give your life to the Lord. And let's stop the habit of leaving the phones in the boot of the car. <laughs> God bless you. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.